Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a manual adjustment for the tax withheld on an employee's payroll. So if you are doing the payroll and you're inside the pay slip and you need to change the tax amount that is coming out so that the net amount, the after tax amount is correct, I'll show you how to do that. Now, there are various situations when you might want to do this, um, such as if the incorrect amount was paid, the incorrect after-tax amount was paid to the employee, and rather than post a new payroll to adjust and reverse it out and muck around with all that, it might only be a small amount, so you may want to just make the adjustment directly in the initial payroll. With the new STP regulations, you now cannot revert a payroll that has been submitted to single touch payroll back to draft so that may affect you in that case you would have to post a new payroll for a correction or correct it in the next fortnight or next weekly cycle you might also need to make a payroll tax withheld adjustment if you're doing catch-up work and you have found that um, the employer has uh, they didn't update their tax tables for a new financial year and they kept paying the employee the same after tax amount even though the tax rates had changed so that does happen occasionally so in this case when you process the payroll you will need to make an adjustment in the tax withheld section so that the net amount in the payroll matches the net amount that left the bank similar to that if the owner just you know says all right i'm paying myself 1200 a week in the hand can you please process that in zero and when you're working kind of backwards like that and you need to match the net in the payroll to the amount that left the bank, you'll often need to muck around with the adjustment section in the tax withheld. And if you pay an employee a one-off bonus, or it doesn't have to be a bonus, it could just be a higher amount for whatever reason, and the tax tables have sort of, it looks like it's taking out too much tax and you want to adjust that so it reflects more what it should be over an annual basis because it's only a one-off payment and they're not getting this higher amount every week. Some people will make an adjustment there to bring that more into line, the tax withheld more into line with what you think it should be on an annual basis. So there's a few scenarios of why you may want to do it. So let's show you how to do it now. So if you're in the payroll, you're gonna to go to pay employees. Okay, and we've got this draft pay run here, so we'll use that for the example. Okay, now let's have a look at Oliver Gray here. So we can see that he has a gross payment of 2280, tax withheld of 364 to make a net after tax amount of 1876. Now let's say in this case that he was paid 1800 from the bank for whatever reason the bank amount didn't match the payroll amount so we need to make them match so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this payroll entry so that it matches the 1800 that left the bank so the first thing to do is to get out your calculator and work out the difference so i'll type in the current amount net amount 1876 i'll minus the amount that actually left the bank so that makes a difference of 76 dollars now, because we have to decrease the net amount, it means we have to increase the tax amount to reduce the take home amount overall. So we're going to go down to the tax section here and go add tax line. And I'll just say to match bank amount. You can put whatever you want to put in here. And we're going to put in that amount 76. So we need to increase the tax by 76 and then this should go down to 1800 even there it is so we're happy with that and then we can click save one thing to note that even though you have fixed it up in this payroll it may have an impact on the final year payment summaries because well a small amount's not going to make a huge difference but if you're making large adjustments then if we were putting a large amount of extra tax in here that is more likely to contribute to Oliver paying more tax than he needs to which will mean he's more likely to get a bigger tax refund than he normally would likewise if you're taking a large amount of tax out to increase the take-home pay 
there is a larger chance that he will end up with a tax shortfall at the end of the year and have to pay back money to the tax office. But that's basically how you make adjustments. So if you're interested in booking in a training session, you can head over to qtraining.net.au. We offer one-on-one -on -one Zoom sessions where we can talk you through whatever you need to do. You will share your screen with us and we will show you what you need to do to fix whatever issues you're having. We work with Myob, other systems like QuickBooks and of course Xero, spreadsheets, any kind of office stuff, but predominantly we focus on accounting software. We'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.